everybody. Paula Spivey out here at Lakewood 400 on this gloomy October day, but the perfect day to come down and visit our 75,000 square foot climate control building. We've got some fabulous dealers. We are packed full. Um, I found something really cool and unique. Uh, I need to share this with you because you will be rushing down here to see this. This is so incredible. Uh, no, that's well, Let that me show you. you. Oh, is it? Uh -huh. Oh, if it is, I can see it on. These absolute unique. I can't wait to find out about them. Bars that are made out of old front end and back ends of cars, and there's a boat over here. I mean, it's in, I got to find out more about um, this product because it's very unique. I've never seen it done like this quite before. And these beautiful tops with this detail edge, metal edging. It's really, they're really fabulous. You have to get down here and see them. So let's find out, let's see who is um, responsible for this gorgeous artwork. So, hello, are you the responsible uh, yes, party Yes, I here? am. How are you doing? My Good. name is John. John Paula. Hi, nice I'm to meet out you. here shopping with my friends and uh, yeah. ran into this and have to find out more sure. about your product and how you got into this. Sure. And do you do this yourself? Or? Yes, yeah, I build all the pieces These myself. Beautiful. Thank you. I uh, used to have an antique shop in Maine, and I was sitting there one day watching Flea Market Flip okay. and said, gee, I can do this. I have all this stuff around me. And so I went to Goodwill and bought a couple of lamps and took them apart to see how they worked, and, and that's what started me. That is what and launched this? It, it turned into this. Wow. Yes. wow. I used to do custom lighting, and then I went through an industrial phase where I did pulley wheel tables and things. And then when I did a, my first little Jeep grill, into a little table, it sold so quickly. Before I had the second one, then that was sold. So I said, I maybe I've got something. So I then mean, I started making more, and it's worked its way up into boats, and I do tractors now, about anything. Do you peruse, like, <laughs> junkyards? Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. how you, you yes. have a deal? You have a my main source is really Craigslist, finding okay. people who have stuff. Right. But, uh, because actually old junkyards usually advertise on that, too, as well. And so I'm always looking for stuff. And a lot of shows I do, people will say, well, I've got this and I've got that. Well, you want interested. Well, John, if I knew you back yeah. in the day, I had a 65 Mustang, my oh. first car. Wow. Um, I had it well into my first, you know, when I was married, and we totaled it in an accident. But if I had known you, I would have saved right. a piece Part of it, it. Yes. and you could have made it in this gorgeous memorabilia. Yeah. Well, tell me about, first tell me about these, um, these because not only are they unique in the fact that you've used the you incorporate the car, but the tops, these right. these tops are beautiful with the metal edging and Thank all. you. Yes, I do the tops. I make different size tops for them to, to be either bars or a lot of people use them for an entertainment center for their house or put a flat screen above it. Oh, because not everybody beautiful. wants a bar in their house, but everyone wants a cool entertainment center. Right. If you have your TV up there at night, you have the headlights on, it's like you're the drive in every night. That and it's is so cool. So, and have, people just that love is so it. Unique. I love it. I'm and just... I love people's reactions as much as anything for what I do. They you know? are the old the Chevys. So, yeah. I mean, they are just Thank wonderful. you. And, and I I do. I start. Some of them are just fenders, hoods I put together. This was actually a hood from one, fenders from another, and a grill from a third, and and put it together, and it looks like a real truck. Honestly, what makes them fantastic is the patina. Is Thank the, you. Um, is the patina on them, and yeah. that's what you know. I love. You got to see this one folks over here too this is just and that's the back of a 60s dodge lancer now the oh guy that i got gosh. this in the junkyard he said well this one actually has a story with it the people that owned it drove it all the way across country from california to maine to a grateful dead concert <laughs> and at the end of the concert they, they sold the car because they weren't going to drive back they just wanted to see if they could the they car just drove it there it. just for yeah yeah for transportation and then they sold it to the junkyard and now it's here <laughs> You know, fresh from from I'm blown away. 60s. It's fantastic. But yeah, that car I'd never ever seen one before, and it was such a cool back end. I was like, I've got to save that, you right, know. Right. And it did. It came out beautiful. It is just the. I love the color. No, that one's perfect for an entertainment center. That perfect. one, I'm sure, a side table in your house. And it's a great size. Yes. I mean, it's the perfect size. Okay, the showstopper that I absolutely 
what really caught my eye, besides the Mustang, because, mm -hmm. you know, that's near and dear to my heart, right. is this boat, boat. bar. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Yeah, goodness. I was in upstate New York a couple of years ago at a show, and this guy was looking at this my food. is... And said, gee, you look kind of handy at building things. So he told me how he had the back of the boat he had stowed, stored for a friend, and a tree came down and cut the boat in half. And he cut the back three feet away and was always going to make a bar, but never did. He said, I'm in my 70s now, and I've done it. It's been 10 years. It'll never happen. He said, but I bet you could do it. So I asked him. I knew nothing about boats. I said, what was it? He said, a 1957 Chris Brown oh, with a mahogany back. Beautiful. And I was like, wow, can you send me a picture? Well, the next morning, he sent me a picture. And that night, I was at his house buying it. And the first show I took it to was in here in Atlanta, and I sold it in three hours. You it know? is. It, and that started the boat bar business is, for me. You can see drawing attention. Yeah. It is just really so unique. Yeah. And this particular boat was a, you know, I usually do Chris Craft boats. I, this was the front, and I did the back half of the boat. I take all the mahogany out and restore, use it to restore the pieces wet. So when I dismantle a boat, nothing goes to win. It is beautiful. And you can see this boat, I mean, the original, you know, the, the Chris Craft, and all the original signage on it. And I love the chain. It's yeah. a great touch. Thank you. I love yeah. that. I, I know this that. one is splayed out so much, it would have been tippy if someone was on one side, so right. I had to make it stable. And this was the way to do it, and it worked perfectly. So, it's and I just, thought it just add another whole element to the piece as well. I mean, what a treasure. What a very, very unique treasure. So now, how long have you been? About four years. Four years? Four years I've been, well, probably five from yeah. the start. But wow. yeah, each year, within a, within a year, I went from antiques to my own stuff. At shows, and I used to do Brimfield years ago, and right, still do. Right. And uh, and I love doing that and doing shows. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, we are thrilled to have you here at Lakewood. And, yes, well, I love this very, venue. I really had to, you know, mm, tell I, my friends out there about you because I appreciate this it. is really great. And one more quick thing: that little shell. Is that Jeep? a Jeep girl? Yes. How it cute! Is. You know, Jeeps are hot. Right. right it is. What a cute! What a great. It hangs right on the wall and got lights. There's a little shelf there. That's the front I mean, of an old Jeep Command. For a, yeah. for a kid's room, yeah. or a rec room, or, I mean, it's mm -hmm. really, really, really unique. Guys, get down here. John, yes, thank it has you been so much. a pleasure, thank you. and yes. it has been just, mm -hmm. you know, something very, very interesting well, Hopefully there's some people out there that want some unique stuff. Yes, yeah. well, it, it's, I can't imagine anyone not loving this mm -hmm. stuff. So, but thank you. Guys, thank get you. down here. See John. Yes. When, you won't believe it. you got to see it in person. And we will see you soon at Lakewood. Thanks. Thank you, John. Thank you. Have a great day.